this win just a couple of weeks ago in Charlotte in the hands of Joe Herrera. Though Tickle does look to be in a little bit of trouble. He's getting beaten down here by some lords. There's a vial out there for Clausen. Tickle's searching up right now a copy of Overgrown Tomb. This is actually a replay of the finals yeah. that we had in Charlotte with Hunter Nance on the Merfolk side. So Clausen has casted a spell this game. It appears on a lightning bolt. Now we're going to head back Tickle's way. Tickle will take a draw. Picked up a copy of Raging Ravine. We have seen a lot more Merfolk recently. Yeah. A lot more. And I, I, truthfully, I think for pretty good reason. I think the Merfolk is pretty well positioned. These Grixis control decks are very popular right now and does not appear to be a good matchup for Grixis control against Merfolk. You and I played some games there and it did not feel good for my side of the mm -hmm. table. Hard to stabilize with Gurmag Angler and Tassiger against Dismember and Vapor Snag. Very well positioned against those threats. Mutavault really taxes your removal. It's really hard. It's hard enough to contain their threats as is. When they're randomly picking up an attacker or two off of their lands, it's it's a lot to overcome. Jund, on the other hand, just has way more cheap removal, way more redundant removal, better blockers, more blockers. And so their matchup against Merfolk quite a bit better than the Grixis deck. Scavenging Ooze, Raging Ravine enters the battlefield tap. That'll be Tickle's third turn. We're heading back Clausen's way. Vile's going to stay on two here for Brent. Looks like a copy of Marrow Regery in hand, among other options. It looks like he's got a pretty nice hand. Tidebinder Mage, too. So it's time to lock that down. Here come the beatdowns. Pretty healthy amount here. Six points of damage. And it looks like Clausen, instead of playing the Regery, just going to hold tight, leave the mana open. He's got spell snare in hand, uh, spell pierce rather in hand, so this cuts off damnation, yep. which is you know if he taps out and dumps everything on the table and Tegel has damnation, that's probably game. And we saw in Joe Herrera's winning deck a couple weeks ago, he did have damnations in his sideboard. Yeah, this line of play is worse against discard spell plus anger of the gods, but that feels less likely than just damnation. Yep. So I like this line from Clausen quite a bit. Ghost quarters land number four here from Tickle. And now here's Dark Confidant. And the follow-up is a Tarmogoyf. So nothing to spell Pierce, but Vile looks like it's going to go up to three for the Regery. And if Tickle's able to draw a card like Spreading Seas, life is pretty good. Cura, not a bad draw. Ideally, Clausen would have found a Lord. I think that would have given him lethal this turn because he could have, could have gone ahead, Viled in the Regery, played any Merfolk, tapped something, and then that's game. Sure. This is not bad, though. Tarmogoyf only a 2-3 right yeah, now. Yeah, so. this is still... A fine position for Clausen to be in, and I think again he's just going to sit on back on that spell pierce to check cards like damnation. Looks like there's going to have to be some blocking done here by Tickle. It's a lethal attack after all. Merfolk a deck really trending upward right now in modern. Pretty well positioned against a lot of different things. It kills very quickly. The spells that it does play are all pretty good. Spreading Seas, Dismember, Vapor Snack, a couple counter spells. You get a very naturally good anti-combo game as well because you have a fast clock backed up by some counter spells. Yep. We've seen that recipe. You know, Merfolk's had that recipe since, you know, Pro Tour Rome in 1990-something. It's been doing the same thing the yeah. entire time. It's just gotten upgrades since then. Not great in all of the removal matchups, but still, I mean, looks like Clausen's about to be Jund right now. Yep. Something Nance was unable to do in Charlotte. But I think the difference between the two deck lists here, however, uh, Nance's deck doesn't line up particularly well against Shun, especially the build that Herrera was playing. He had so much removal. <laughs> Damnations and everything. Dark Confident, I think we're going to have a trigger here in just a moment. So with Tickle at one, he may need to eat something with ooze. Yeah, that Lord should bite the dust. It take four last turn from the Tarmogoyf. He may need to eat with ooze on the stack. Tickle's in a spot right now where he needs a perfect string of cards now, probably for multiple turns. And it's possible he can't beat Spell Pierce regardless. Yeah, I, I think in this instance, if you're, if you're Matthew, you probably, I don't even know if, I think you just have to get lucky. Well, he definitely has to get lucky. He just has to figure out how many draws he has. Right now, the Lords are 3-3. Three, three. Everything is a 3-3, three, three, so Bolt's a live draw. So if he gains one and Confidant reveals Bolt, then we're still playing. Okay. So from his perspective, uh, gaining one here gives him another string of draws. At least gives him a shot. He's going to Ghost Quarter, looks like his own Raging Ravine. Potentially. So now if he eats, 
Abrupt Decay is now a card that he can draw and continue playing. Okay. So, uh, I, again, I don't think Tickle can beat the Pierce here. I'd be really surprised. But he's at least giving himself, assuming that Clausen has nothing, he's giving him some shots at some cards off a of Dark Confidant. He starts chaining together some removal spells. Then Scavenging Ooze starts eating. Start pulling yourself up. It's not impossible. Up to three. Now Dark Confidant. That's a Grim Lothmancer, down to two. Now Tickle will have to draw a card for the turn. That's a Hunt Master of the Fells. That's not of any help. Grim Lothmancer is the play for the turn. Black Cleave Cliffs is the land. Pass the turn back. Tickle would like to do some chump blocking, or at least try to represent a removal spell here. But with Kira in hand and Spell Pierce, I think Clawson's going to shrug the shoulders and say, yeah, I'm going to try to kill you. Everything is a 3-3. Ooze can only eat one thing. I mean, no. not a lot to do. Pierce That's, covers everything. That's going to do it. Brent Clawson's going to win this game and match over Matthew Tickle. Two games to one. Merfolk will take care of Jun. And for Clawson, with his Merfolk deck, off to a great start, just like Hunter Nance was a couple weeks ago. Yeah, the, the deck is, uh, I think, over the last couple of months I've been watching Modern, has just had a huge uptick, more yeah. than any other deck I can recall. We had one copy in the hands of Richard Adams, I believe, make the top eight of the season two invitational. Correct. You and I, you know, we, we definitely covered the deck, lost a pretty close match to Tron, all things told. Not a great matchup for Merfolk. And, you know, we left the match sort of feeling, okay, that's a cool deck. That's another deck people are going to play. Does not seem particularly good, but I believe it was the winning deck at Grand Prix Copenhagen. Mm -hmm. We've seen a lot more of it on the Open Series and at the Grand Prix we've been covering. And uh, now feels to me like one of the four or five most popular decks we're seeing in Modern. I think one of the